thing that needs to be changed in your life touch and transform you you will have a story to a testimony to give there's no time this particular day you will never in your life in Jesus name name of Jesus we well, thank you tonight we well, bless your night we know you are here to bless your people today what a glorious day that you want to make every yoke you want to destroy the works of the devil you want to get all your people free I'm asking tonight manifest your power in an unprecedented manner in Gene. I'm asking that tonight you save sinners. The power to live in righteousness and holiness. The power to live a transformed life. The power to live a gracious life. You will grant to everyone in Jesus' name the healing of tonight. Spectacular healing. The miracle of tonight. Spectacular miracle. Lord, I pray you confirm it in every life in Jesus' name. Lord, open the pages of your word unto us. Bring power, authority upon our lives in Jesus' name. We well, thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody say that amen means that so it is. So it will be. So it is confirmed. It will be like that in your life in Jesus' name. Thank you. You can sit down. I want to talk to you of the possibility of a permanent miracle. The possibility of a permanent miracle. My miracle will be permanent. See it for yourself. My healing will be permanent. Say it for yourself. My salvation will be permanent. My joy. The gladness I have in the Lord. The mountains that have gone away. The solution that I have. The breakthrough that I have. Every sin of God will be permanent. How did those people have the permanent miracle? The permanent salvation. The permanent healing. The permanent deliverance. How did they have that? Because that same possibility is coming upon your life. The possibility of a permanent miracle. Number one. Come for your promised salvation. It's available. Whosoever come to me, I will in no wise cast out. It's available. Come. He will give you that salvation. Come for your promised salvation. Number two. Continue in your present healing. How do you continue your present healing? What brought the healing to you will keep the healing in you. He sent his word and he healed them. And he delivered them from all their destructions. The healing came through the word. The healing will continue through the world. Continue in your present healing. Number three, you will conquer. I said number three, you will conquer. I said number three, you will conquer. 
conquer with your permanent deliverance you conquer in your permanent deliverance you are coming I said you are coming I said you are coming number one come for your promised salvation you know God has salvation for you it's like a parcel it's sent from the headquarters in heaven and it is written salvation forgiveness peace of mind joy in the Lord victory over all the evil in the world and he puts your name there and I am like the postman that comes to you and said you have a parcel from the headquarters and I hope I will meet you at home because if you are not at home nobody will take your blessing I said nobody will take your blessing your promised salvation is coming to you tonight in Jesus name Matthew chapter 11 I'm reading from verse 28 Matthew 11 verse 28 come unto me all ye that labor and are heavy laden and I will give you rest come unto me he wants you to come because before you come the rest cannot come to you the restoration cannot come to you the redemption cannot come to you the righteousness of Christ cannot come upon you the riches of the kingdom that is promised to you and is yours it cannot come until you come that's why Jesus said come unto me all ye that labor and a heavy lady and I will give you rest that rest is there tonight it's coming I said it's coming but you must take that step that with all your heart with all your mind with the trust and the confidence and the faith in you you say Lord Jesus I come Lord Jesus I come Lord Jesus will be my savior it is as you come like that that your salvation will come to you what does that mean to come number one come out come out you see you have to come out of darkness to get into the light you have to come out of evil to, to get into his goodness you have to get out of sin to get into the savior number one come out in second corinthians chapter 6 verse 17 second corinthians chapter 6 verse 17 wherefore come out from among them you have been in a gang before come out from among them you have been among the people nightclub is their second home come out from the, from among them idol worship shine is their weekend uh, accommodation come out from among them so on Sunday they go to church in the morning and then in the evening they are ready not shine again the Lord is saying you want rest you want restoration you want redemption you want righteousness you want the riches of Christ you want salvation come out from among them he will forgive your sin he will change your life this is the day of salvation 
Today is the day to make Jesus your Savior. Today is your day to make the Lord your Redeemer. And to say, yes, Lord, I come. Yes, Lord, I come. Number one, come out. He does not want you to perish with the unbelievers. He does not want you to perish in sin. That's why he says, you must take the step and come. And the first thing you do is that you come out. It's a practical thing. It's something that you do very definitely. Come. One, you come out. Two, you come in. If you, if you come out of your house and you have been invited to come and partake of a feast, the feast of the King of Kings and the feast of the Lord of Lords. Yes, you came out and then you stay in front of the door. We say, Come in now. We say, Uh uh, I don't want to come in, but I have come out. Are you going to the coming is not complete until you come in? He brought you out that he may bring you in. He called you out that he may call you in. Some people come to crusade and then they say, we say, come out. They say, praise the Lord, I come. Praise the Lord, I come. Put your name on paper. Put my name there. Then they write their name. How about your number? Put everything there. Tell, write, tell the pastor. I come out. I come out. And then after now, when I say, this is the house of the Lord. This is the temple of the Lord. This is the kingdom of God. Where two or three, ten or twenty, two hundred or three hundred, three thousand or five thousand, where they gathered in my name, I am there in their midst. Jesus is there where you will be touched the word of God. A living church. A Bible believing church. A straightforward church. A spiritual church. A saved church. A steadfast church. A church that stands by the word of God. You come out. Then you come in. If you don't come in, the coming out will almost be useless. The purpose of your coming out is so that you will come in. Deuteronomy chapter 6. I'm reading from verse 23. Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 23. He brought us out from thence that he might bring us in. He brought us out for the purpose so that he might bring us in. We came out of Egypt that we might get into Canaan. We came out of evil that we may come into his goodness. We came out of darkness that we might come into the light. And so he says, Come. You come out. You come in. Because he said, And he brought us out that he might bring us in. He to give us the land which he swear unto our fathers. And that's what, the, that's what the Lord is telling you tonight. That the very first step you take, the very first step you take, 
is that you come out and then you come in look at revelation chapter 4 verse 1 chapter 4 verse 1 after this i looked and behold a door was opened in heaven and the first voice which i heard was it was as it were a trumpet talking to me which said come up hither come up hither you come out you come in so that you can come up you are going to come up you will not be tail you will be head you are going to come up you will not be on the ground you will be on the top you are going to come up you'll be on the mountain top you'll be going higher and higher and higher in jesus name but you must take that first step you come up it's your blessing you come up it's your possession you come up into the promise of god you come up into the glory of god in your life you come out you come in you come up when do you do that because you can say i will come you want to suffer a little more you want to be in the hand of the devil a little more if there is any time to come if there is any time to give your heart your life your mind your whole personality unto god it is now if there's any time to say yes i'm going to obey the lord he says come and i will give you rest i'll give you life it is now isaiah chapter one i'm reading from verse 18 isaiah chapter one i am reading from verse 18 already he said come out he said come in he said come up now he says come now you cannot miss that he says this is the time he says this is the day he says this is the moment you must take that step now come now and let us reason together says the lord then he says though your sins be as scarlet, they'll be white as snow and though they be red like crimson i'll wash them as white as wool he says then if you be willing and obedient he shall eat the good of the land number one car number two continue continue you see people come to crusades i was there i was there when you call when you came in 19 long long ago i was there uh, but did you continue that's why we come back again and say hey, pastor pray for me this one is willing this one is now this one that you come you will continue i said this time you will continue that's what jesus said if you want to know true freedom total freedom entire freedom complete freedom permanent freedom perpetual freedom just going on and on it says you must continue 
John chapter 8. I'm reading from verse 31. John chapter 8. And we're reading the words of Jesus from verse 31. Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him. These are people that already believed. They believed on the Lord. And Jesus said unto them, If ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed. If ye continue in my word, then are you my disciples indeed. And then he says, Next verse, and you shall know the truth while you continue. You are hearing the truth, you are learning the truth, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. The truth shall make you free. Your freedom has started already. That freedom will be permanent. I said that freedom will be permanent. Freedom from sin. Freedom from sickness. Freedom from evil spirits. Freedom from Satan. If he continue in my world, then are you my disciples indeed. And ye shall learn the truth. And ye shall take in the truth. And ye shall believe the truth. And ye shall abide in the truth. And ye shall obey the truth. And the truth will make you free. You are free. Where are you? You are free. I said you are free. What does it mean if you continue? Number one, you continue in the faith. You continue in the faith. You believed on the Lord Jesus Christ. Let me remind you of a verse you know very well. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son so that whosoever believes it's not whosoever believed whosoever will believe no whosoever believes 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 in him you have believed already you keep on believing you keep on trusting you keep on following that whosoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life some people said I have believed but I'm not believing today anymore will I still have everlasting life whosoever believes in him will have everlasting life will not perish do you remember the words of Jesus go ye to all the world and preach the gospel to every creature he that believes is not he that believed long long ago no more believing today he that believes and is baptized shall be saved as you continue to believe you continue in the faith you continue in faithfulness faithfulness what's faithfulness you see I am bringing something to you and you bring it that's faithfulness I love you I will come to you and visit you that's faithfulness when you do I give my life to Jesus my life is no more for Satan my life is no more for idol worship I am for Jesus I am for Jesus I am for Jesus if after that day you're still for Jesus. If after that day, idols come, bye bye. No, I said bye bye already. I'm not going back there again. 
all those uh, magic uh, magician ma magic uh, magical materials they bring them regalia you say, no i've said no I've, i'm for jesus now that's faithfulness and you abide and you remain and you dwell with christ and the promise you have made to christ bye bye to the world i come to jesus bye bye to darkness i've come to the light bye bye to evil i've come to the goodness of the lord he is my savior he will always be my savior he is my shepherd he will always be my shepherd he is my redeemer that heaven i am going there if you stay if you abide by that you continue in faithfulness you continue in the faith you continue in faithfulness you continue in fervency because jesus said because iniquity shall abound the love of many shall wax cold discouragement will come to some people they were running before they are now dragging their feet they no more fervent for the lord in the past i was glad when they said unto me let us go into the house of the lord but today now house of god i think i will miss one today i was there last month and uh, the way i see the sky is cloudy it may rain i don't think i can go today you are no more hot nor cold you are lukewarm and he said because you are lukewarm i will spill you out of my mouth he wants the fervency to continue he said i said he wants the fervency to continue the older you get the, the more fervent and the higher you go but some people like they're like the people i read about in geography they used to tell our teacher used to say the higher you go the cooler you become some people that have read the bible before i'm not a newcomer in that church you know i've been there before and why are you so cold ah didn't you hear the higher you go the cooler you become that one is geography that one is not spirituality that one is not in the supernatural that one is not in the book of records of God. When you come to God, the higher you go, the more fiery you become. The higher you go, the more gracious you become. The higher you go, the more fervent you become. That fervency will be in your life in Jesus' name. I want to hear that good amen I've always been hearing. You continue in faith. You continue in faithfulness. You continue in fervency. And when you pray, I said, when you pray, I said, when you when you pray, heaven will say yes to your prayer. When you pray, Satan will take the baton. He will run as fast as he can. He will run away from you. I said it will run away from you. Look at it. In James chapter 5. James chapter 5. I'm reading here from the last part of verse 16. The second part of verse 16. The effectual fervent, fervent, fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. The effectual fervent prayer of a child of God of a man of God of the righteous availeth much I come 
How many people are there? I come. Are you there? I said, are you there? You come out. You come in. You come up. You come now. I come. God will bless you. I said, God will bless you. Satan will not know the address of your new house. I come. I have come to Jesus. You will not find me in that old apartment, old house anymore where Satan used to beat the window, knock the window, knock everywhere. I have come out. I come in. I come up. I come now. I continue. I continue. You will continue. I said you will continue. I said you will continue. You will continue, you will continue with Jesus. You will continue in your blessing. You will continue in his grace. Your name has entered the book of life. Your name will continue there. You will abide. I said you will abide. Come. Continue. Tell me number three. I said tell me number three. I see come cross here tonight. I said I see come cross here tonight. There are giants of faith in this land. The mighty, powerful men and women of God in this land. Do you know you will conquer? You will conquer all those magicians of Egypt. You will conquer all those Canaanites. You will conquer the wall of Jericho. I said you will conquer your Goliath. I said you'll conquer your enemies. You will conquer. It's on the head of the devil, on the head of the evil spirits, on the head of your problem. You will walk to glory. Conquer. I said conquer. When you go out of here tonight, I release you to go and conquer. All those things that tormented you, terrified you, intimidated you in the dream, go back home. Sleep on that same bed. Anything that comes before you say, G, they won't allow you to finish that Jesus, you conquer them. The people that have, I heard you went to another church, uh huh. Yes, and in the past, you say, Hey, Mama, hey, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I, I went, but I'll not go again. You are afraid of them. Then you go back home, you are crying and weeping. Why is it that I told this woman I'll not go again? Now, when you go back from this night, there is a mark of, on your forehead, you cannot see it. That woman will see it, those people will see it. Once you are coming like this, coming like this, they look at you, they will drop their head. They cannot look at your face again. There is fire coming out of your eyes. Because you will conquer them in Jesus' name. Before, when they said, You will not worship idol, you hear the music, you will not bow down. In the past, he used to say, I might be no. I won't do it again. Now they will get angry. When they get angry, you will look at the face of Nebuchadnezzar. As fire is coming out. As he's getting angry. In the past, you will 
almost say the land should open. When you see the face of Nebuchadnezzar, you say the land should open and you get inside. You stand like this. Look up. You put your shares outside. You will not look down. I think they say you stand at a kimbo. And then when you do that, he'll be more angry. He will say, if I heat the furnace and I throw you inside, I will give you what you will serve for the rest of your life. You say, Mama, go and make that fire. If you want to burn in the fire, Mama, go ahead. I went somewhere. I got something. If I apply that thing on you, if I they taught me how to conquer you, you don't did I look at you your face like this before? If you see me now looking at you and saying, Don't you know that I got something? If you try, Mama, you want to die before your time. She will kneel down before you. You will lay your hands on her and cast out that sin from her. You are the victors from now on. You are the conquerors from now on. They will not drive you away from your seat of power and authority. Nebuchadnezzar did not get the word. He said, he that furnished seven times sorter. And so they did. Then he commanded some people. He said, bind them all. If you want to die before your time, bind them. If you want the furnace of Nebuchadnezzar, it wasn't meant for you. It was meant for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. But if you want to die before your time, carry them and throw them inside. Nebuchadnezzar, if you want to throw them, do it yourself. I will not answer that kind of a message. I will not do the thing that will kill me. I'm not ready yet. Please do it yourself. And so, those who carry them and threw them into the fire, the fire punched them to death. You have got the message. Anybody that tries to touch your life and say they are carrying you, they say somebody made fire. Uh -uh. When you were saved, God sealed up the gate of hell fire for you and said, You, your name is no more there, your portion is no more there, you are no more there. Fire in the future, fire at the present, no more. And then they saw, they, they threw them inside. About, did they die? Did they burn? As they came inside there. It was the property of Nebuchadnezzar with which they were bound to seem burnt up completely. Then they stood up. You will stand up. Then they were walking. It says, the river will not drown you. The fire will not burn you. And they were walking in that fire. From today, if you come, from today, if you will continue, you will conquer. And then, as you were walking in that fire, Nebuchadnezzar said, Let me go and look at their ashes. Ah, we don't see the ashes of those people, they are conquerors. Then he peeped inside. He said, What do I see? 
He said, come and help me. Am I having double vision that's Shadrach? That's Meshach? That's Abednego? Uh, uh, there's somebody else. There's somebody else. And the fourth person that's one who will go with you. And the fourth person that's one that will never leave you, will never forsake you. And the fourth person it's like unto the son of God. Then Nebuchadnezzar cried out. He had seen conquerors. I said he had seen conquerors. All the villages were going. All the towns were going. All the offices were going. The conquerors are coming. I said the conquerors are coming. Let all those evil people can't get out of the way. Across are coming. It's a Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, servants of the living God. Come out. And they came out. They looked at them. They inspected them. They couldn't see any trace of fire on their body. And Jesus said, go, You can go back now. I'm waiting for you in heaven. I'll prepare a mansion for you. As I'll be with you here in the fire, I'll be with you, you'll be with me in my father's house. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. If I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again. I will come again and take you unto myself. So that where I am, there you will be. You are going to be there? Where are you? There you will be. I said there you will be. I said there you will be. Are you going to be there? You come. You continue. You conquer. If you are the person I'm talking about, stand up. If you are the one, you'll be there. In my father's house are many mansions. I go to prepare a place for you. If you are going to be there, you will conquer. You have to come. You have to continue. And you have to conquer. You promise the Lord. Today I come. Today I come. As I come, I will never go back again. I will continue with Jesus. I will continue with my Savior. I'll continue with my Lord. And the power to conquer. The power to conquer. The power to conquer. The Lord will give it to you. You will conquer. Are you there? If you are there, let me hear you. I said you will conquer. It's about the nice closed. You want to come out. You want to come in. You want to come up. And you want to come now. You're making up your mind. You are taking the decision. Yes, I want eternal life. Yes, I want forgiveness. Yes, I want that transformation. Yes, I want that salvation. I come. I come. I come. I will not miss heaven. I will not go to hell. Jesus is my savior. I come. Wherever you are, just raise up your hand. I say, yes, Lord, I am here. I am here. I've been dilly-dallying. I've been taking, I've not been taking the proper decision. But now I make up my mind. I come. I come. I come to Jesus. He is my savior. He is my redeemer. He is the one that forgives all sins. I come. Come out of your sin. Come into the savior. Come out of darkness. Come into the light. Come out of that occultism. And come into the clean power of the spirit of God. Tell the Lord, yes, I come. Raise up those hands. I'm praying for you as you come. Father, in the name of Jesus, 
we thank you at this time we bless your name because whosoever comes to Christ you will not cast away all these who are raising up their hands they come out out of sin out of evil out of all the juju and they now come to Christ receive them in Jesus name they come out of darkness they come out of the evil and they come to Jesus Lord and Savior according to your promise receive them into your salvation receive them into your restoration receive them into redemption save them in Jesus name Lord I pray the joy of salvation will come to them now the peace of God will come into their hearts right now I pray Lord that you confirm that salvation in their lives right now thank you because we know you have answered in Jesus name we pray and everybody said praise the Lord let the conquerors praise the Lord don't you know you are conquerors you conquer Satan you conquer sickness you conquer sin anything that has been against your life you are conquerors tonight in Jesus name any remnant of the property of the devil remaining there or come out of your life any remnant of sickness remaining there tonight you conquer in Jesus name if you are still blind when you hear the final amen you will see miracle there you'll open your eyes like this miracle sight if you are still lame or maybe you were touched before but you are still like uh, have I got it have I not got it something wonderful something good real strength will come to you tonight you are a conqueror in Jesus name any evil power any torment in your life any oppression in your life tonight 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 where is the person I'm talking about it will drive away every remnant of the property of the devil there when you hear the final amen you will check up you will see miracle on your body there are you ready father in the name of Jesus Lord we pray resurrection power to come upon your people wake them up raise them up everything that smells of death there I command you come out in Jesus name all the powers of the devil all the oppression of sickness all those manifestations of demons I command you right there come out in Jesus name Lord I pray this will be the night of your power in their lives power of every anointing that breaks the yoke power of a mighty authority complete it accomplish it in their lives in Jesus name that spirit of insanity I command you come out in Jesus name spirit of epilepsy I command you there come out in Jesus name all that swelling in your body all that piled in your body I command right now by the power of the Holy Ghost in the authority of the name of Jesus come out in Jesus name Lord I pray for those who have eternal sickness all that pain in your body 
all that sickness inside you infirmity and weakness authority is coming now power is coming out be healed in jesus name lord that cancer will have to go that cancer will have to go i command you cancer be healed now in jesus name also no way you cannot remain there this sister is free this brother is free this child is free also i command you be healed in jesus name all that back ache i cannot bend i cannot stand all the waist pain all the arthritis all the joints that are cracking i sent forth power in your joints right now power in your backbone right now be healed in jesus name all the evil spirits trying to manipulate your thoughts manipulate your mind and bringing oppression upon your life you evil manipulating spirit when you hear the voice of authority you recognize i command you with that authority you don't have any right to remain there come out in jesus name i pray lord for those who have appendicitis or any other internal problem in your kidney in your livers those who are going for dialysis life to come into you resurrection life to come into you healing to come into you the signs and the wonders from calvary to roll all those problems away in jesus name those who are deaf and dumb i pray right now receive your hearing receive your speech you deafness and dumbness i command you come out in jesus name lord i pray for those who are blind whatever covers your eyesight whatever brings that blindness whatever causes the dimness of sight i remove it right now be healed be healed be healed receive your sight in jesus name those who are lame paralyzed lord i pray power to come in their bodies right now raise them up i command you rise up and walk in jesus name lord i pray multiplied blessing multiplied miracles multiplied breakthrough every need of your people every desire of your people every ambition of your people every aspiration of your people this is a day to conquer every problem set them free set them free deliver them deliver them i pray oh lord every yoke is broken every cause is removed be loose and be liberated in jesus name everyone even those who think they don't need any miracle lord do something for them give something to everybody miracle here deliverance there healing there victory there the spirit of the conqueror the spirit of the conqueror give unto everyone in jesus name lord i pray the healing will be permanent miracle will be permanent deliverance will be permanent everything we have got this hour permanent 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 in jesus name now the shout of miracle everywhere 
shout of deliverance everywhere the joy of victory everywhere confirm it O lord confirm it O lord in everyone we thank you because we know it is not in jesus name we pray and everybody said you have got it i said you have got it check up yourself it is there Pray God. Hallelujah. Now I pay me, I'm all resolved. I don't know what pay me. You pay me what? Well, I will pay me. If I go, money nibble, money nibble. Oh, let me alone. Let me alone. Don't let me my shot. I'm on my job. A politician for my check. Would I know telling you? Sir, could you go? I'm a lot of technical gong. Only me or tell you one. I do one in the AKG. What did you pay? Dotty, Baba Degon. On a qui m'a bord. 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 On a qui Pray the law. Pray the law. What tell you want? But you want Debbie. As you go, be much a day, one moment, Lossy. If that you want to, but I want to love one by you. Put a rock to two more day. And that you are one at our Boko Bobo, money, the Nina Loma down for me. Tinty one new joy. Pray the law. Pray the living God. My was the bear. Oh, my run, but go quarter south. One mommy. So, more as a pope, that more debby. My better sick bad, mong 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 bad, Bobo got him on who knew why. Oh, Lord, you're that he missing you. He joined here. What about what I die? Oh, good, you know, Lord, I love to that way. Then I got me a lot of officer. That's about it. I want to talk about it. What about him? I go by my joy. I think about the letter. One will shame on. Let the law. What do I want to do? No, no, joy, Lenny. What did that up for? What did that not long? What you do injury. Eh, mutu abe awon baba kan ma fi mi sinu adua kesu ma tu gba mi lowo awon mo e ma e mo tu tu pe lowo baba e jo gbogbo awon wo lido atawa awon ojo to ba tu wa to wa je pe o wa ni irepo dun ni o mo ran oro ajase mo tu tu pe lowo awon na pe ki gbogbo mo ni adua fun mi ke de ma wa wo mi wo praise the lord praise the lord ni se la to pe mi niyan o praise the lord jesus amen Praise the Lord. 
is now a child of God, a born again child of God. He was formerly a politician, a thug, but by the special grace of God, God had delivered him. He was invited to this place. At first, he didn't want to come, thinking that by the time he got here, people would be making jest of him. But he came here by the Spirit of God. And uh, when he was brought here, as he was listening to the message of our pastor, and as our pastor was praying, one spirit, the Spirit of God, was telling him, You this man, why can't you renounce your evil ways? And by the special grace of God, he renounced all his evil ways. He gave this life to Jesus Christ, and uh, he had promised that all the charms that he had been using to kill, to molest people, to cause trouble, everything will be brought to the presence of the children of God, and it will be brought up. Praise the Lord! Put your hand for to Jesus. Let's listen to the next that is fire. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! Praise the living Jesus! The Lord is good. My name is Daniel Mejida. I'm indigenous of Nasarawa State. So I brought my younger brother, Daniel Ayuba, to this program. So my parents live in Oyo State, but I got admission in Barcelona School of Health, Shao. So my, uh, my younger brother has a problem of Anya. So in the, in the first day, when this program for the fall, started so there's no any cause of alarm the second day there's no any uh, cause of alarm and this third day in the morning so there's no any cause of alarm again but now i couldn't see the anya the anya has vanished away praise the lord Amen. praise the living jesus Amen. As we Alpha Mumin Lati Ilui Bado. Eh, ma koni ke kire kang ke kire ni kire ke mozadi unigba goni. Oreti Baba Sheo ojo miloju. Oreti Baba Sheo oya milenu Baba Olore Opelu Yeho. Amen. Amen. In fact, bara wala tu koko na koko ju. Il lui a dit Motiwa. Il a dit Yaomi. Il a dit Christian. life. Il a Alpha. Il a Muslim. Il a dit Christian. Il a dit Christian. Il a dit Christian. Il a dit ni jowa pe o si ba ra laju e sile yawo re christian o wa je muslimi o beta ko le na o sa mo ru n to wa ninu esin wa ha mo wa gboro yen mo ni mo ti gbo tori pe yoba so pe omo odo na se kini o fo gbon se mo ni ma gbe gbe se ti ma ti doro yawo nba e ma ni ah nkan ya tun rinsi mi pe nti won ni ko se se na o Mathe, si on va, on va parler de la 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 Maman, 
and you human ruling the book bani mo ti logun to po now won agbo pe baba kumu yi nbo wa si lorin yes won agbo pe won bo si lorin ma so pa tori ntun si mi yo ma lo si lorin mo si ni gba wo pe nkan yi baba tele momo yawo mi wa awon de bi ni jo tuesday baba won gba adura mi no won gba adura ndi to se mi yen mo ni gba wo pe kini yen ti nkro die die ngbo wa di eni mo wa ri pe mo wa relief gan mo ni bi apa yen mo le bend mo le ah mo pe yes oluwa se mo ah mo ni now ko si to ku mi ku ni pe in ni wo iwe eyin mo ko si ti we ni kankan le se ninu won atagbara won le ka mi o ma ko ma gbogun sugbon jesu a ja fun mi ori lo ko jesu Praise the Lord. Mo ni gba gbo. Mo ti mo ti gba Jesu ko. Ale lati wa ka ti lo pe Jesu ni Oluwa ati Olugbala mi. Amen. Praise the Lord. Ekeji, e wa bi no. Ni 2011 ti mo bi omo se kon bo mi. Nigbati a bi omo yen ko yato si alangba. Awon a so ruko omo yen ni kiese ni. Ah, won pe yawo mi pe ah kiru kiru problem wo la face yi na. An gba do an toto. Eni an to so fa pastor in church yi kon mo ba padura jagun. Tori mo ni gba gbo ni padura. Wa na o gba dura. Ngo wa di to pe month. To mo yen ta ti bi omo yen. Mu ni o ara mi o gbe mo. O beta ke gbe omo yen lo sodo grandma ni ilorin. Ko won lo padura jagun. Awon ni kiro de mo ni bi ti or ti igbagbo mi ro mo ni yen o. Tori mama yawo mi Christian ni deeper life. O ba ni o ka e gbowo e ma lo. Emi o mo fi adu ajagun bi bayi. Ndugo te ba ni ti ba ma send esin. Ha! O ngo di o se keji ti won do hun. Ti won fun o ba ni. Ara o mo yen ti nya o. To ngba ti o ma pada de ibadan. Ah, pelu anu ti arigba. O mo yen stay big boy now. Amen. Ti e ba ri o mo yen e le pe ni case eni mo. Amen. O ti di big boy ni sin te pe koda bi soja gan lo se ma move so the lord mo gba jesu gbo ni oluwa ti olugbala mi lati wa ka ti e ba mi ki hallelujah you really hear hallelujah for jesus jesu po fo na ya ra tun ni won amen a po fo na ye won na the really our brother was commonly apart but she got married to a christian and then the the association she belong he belong to wanted him to divorce his wife to drive the wife away but any moment she saw the wife instead of driving her away that spirit will be don't drive this woman away she will always see the glory of god upon that woman instead of driving her away you will be encouraging the woman go to church go to bible study go to revival hour But to cut the story short, by the special grace of God, now he himself had given his life to Jesus Christ. He has believed Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior. Not only believe, he has taken him as his Lord and uh, Savior. And when he did that, he had a problem, pain in in, uh, in his back. And on this particular crusade ground, God took away that particular problem. He is now healthy by the special grace of God. And not only that, you know, God loved this man very well. Even before he gave his life to Jesus Christ, God performed miracle in the life of his son. When the boy was born, he said he was like lizard. But when he sent the boy to Elohim here for prayer, they started praying. By the time the boy will be brought back, the boy had be completely okay, and the boy is like is like a soldier now. The miracle will be permanent in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Oruko mi ni je ne ti abayi omi lati ga odota. Odupe lowo Olorun o ti pe ti aisan. Won ni awo ka ni gbugbu ara mi bayi yo kan mo ro mi ni tese tese mi o lerin. Gba mi gan afi tin ba ni ka won omo mo ba mu kan ba. Sugbon ijeta ti mo ti wa mo wa ri yato. 
get up me tell you, do the duro, so go ya, my wabber, I see, and did the duro, and I tell you, Romy Loru, to go by all my Romy to me, or Lenny, but why do I love all long way, go where till law, and I mean you, Lua logo. Praise the Lord. Our mommy is a Janet Abayomi. She was suffering from a rheumatism. You no, know, you'd be moving from one part of the body to the other. Do not sleep very well because of pain. But by the grace of God, the power of God touched right. the body. The rheumatism melted away. And uh, our mommy is okay. Praise the Lord. 